it's a very sustained kind of no big surprises. We don't see anything too dramatic, but I think we will see a lot of fight. It's going to be a route where they can get stuck in, really having to grit and bear their way through all of the moves. It's a long route, it seems. The women's semi-final was quite wild, quite different, quite interesting to watch because it was so strange in many ways. We saw upside down, we saw spins. Um, whereas this, it seems like there's not too much excitement going on with the climb but it'll, i think it'll mean that they can showcase their best skills yeah i mean endurance is the key after that jump really it's just relentless through goes all the way to the right and then all the way back towards the left towards that final top hold and a jump at the top and that is what the women have she loves being on that stage and lead is her happy place we saw her have a really good round in boulder i thought She's been gone away and worked on her weaknesses in Boulder and she came out flashing the final Boulder in semi-finals, which was very dynamic, very wild. Um, she was really happy with that. She chatted about it on social media. It's good to see. So she's going to be wanting to come out here and show her best, best self. Absolutely. And she is brilliant on a lead rope. She really came into form for that. Yeah, she's moved from that bouldering uh, side of things into the lead circuit and looking fit and strong and a good start for those ghost holds you can just about see these sections that are no texture mainly because they uh, they don't pick up chalk as much they tend to stay yellower yeah they're quite shiny mm. so it's you can kind of see them but it is it's hard to see how bad those holds are they they look quite positive as these athletes are moving through and there are some little dimples but they are not good holds no they are not and generally the friction on these things are far worse than what you get in a commercial gym so if you listen to this and you're a climber and you think these holds are good just trust us they are not and she's on this big black fridge huggy hugging section now i'm really enjoying this section just like the root setter said it's interesting to see how how they're figuring out their own way through it i don't think we've seen any of the girls doing the same sequence of hand movements um, so they can make their own way through it. It doesn't look risky, it's just kind of zapping them and making them think, kind of throwing them off maybe, um, just ahead of that, that big jump that's coming next as well. Yeah, it's a very good point. I mean, Jessie had toes there as she tried to pull through and she's just struggling to get the body position. Now brings the right heel in, and rocking up on it. You can see she's squeezing with her thighs there. Every, every part of her body was in contact with that volume at that point. Yeah, she'll be glad of the rest here as she finally sits on top of it, squatting down in a frog style on her heels. She will just rest, lean back. And there is, just to let you know and keep you updated, there's an appeal on Miho Nanaka currently. So they're appealing that she shouldn't have got 32 plus, she should have just got 32. And that's something you said. So yeah, the judges, uh, the uh, coaches and judges are looking at that now. Jessie's. Really smooth for Jessie there. She, there was no doubt in her mind whether she was able to do that jump. She didn't even seem slightly nervous on it. She hit the hand placements perfectly, rode the swing just as you would want to. A great lesson in doing a dyno there from Jessie. Absolutely, yeah. When she's in her flow, it's uh, she's one of the world's best. Has that heel locked in? And it amazes me always when I watch that how curved they have the foot. Yeah. We talk about flexibility a lot in climbing, and one thing that I think isn't mentioned very often is ankle flexibility, um, and also hip. We talk about hip flexibility, but to be able to open your hips in a heel hook, just like Jessie is doing here, you see her pull right in, her toes pointing really far out, and now the ankle flexibility, her toes pointing really far down, that allows her to open her hips, push them into the wall, get her weight through her feet, take some weight off her hands, um, therefore making her more efficient. I am geeking out again. You're looking no, at look, me it, like I'm... I'm not at all. I'm, I'm honestly <laughs> loving your explanation. Shauna, if anyone who doesn't know, and everyone should, Shauna, uh, Olympian, world-class climber, multiple medals to your <laughs> name. She really knows what she's talking about. So trust me at home, listen to this lady speak because she's giving a master class here in the commentary box. And Jessie Pilts is uh, through the purples and into the yellow and black part of the route. Yeah, the athletes are the ones giving the masterclass. I just get to point out what they're doing, <laughs> which is a privilege to be here. So I'm really, really happy to be talking about it. Jesse is nearing the point where Miho slipped. Yeah, just remember that blue cloth cross. It's the last clipping point. That's what that indicates. You can see there, Jesse was kind of narrow, um, in a narrow compression on those two volumes. She 
looked like she was having to fight a little bit there, you know, it's got all, it, a lot more physical at that point. You start this route by climbing, it's not not too much trickery, and then you get into the compression section, a few more moves just tic-tacking around, and then it gets way more physical here, um, before you get into the head wall again, where it's going to be kind of really sustained resistance climbing. Yeah, we haven't seen many rests after that, uh, that dino and a jump, it's just micro shakes on the way through up into that head wall. And Jesse now a big move up in the right and holds the swing, kicking that right leg back to get back into the wall. She is starting to look tired here, but one thing Jesse is really good at doing is keeping climbing through that pump. You can see her elbows are starting to lift. She's suddenly not looking as comfortable. That toe hook outright is really smart though. Unfortunately not working for her. Yeah, falling just below the 